In this video, I'm going to show you uh, the main parts of Bryce Canyon National Park and Zion National Park. As if you had one day and you were in this area and um, this is probably the, the places you would want to go and see. As you go into Bryce Canyon, there's about a 14 mile scenic drive. Um, I'm coming in in the morning, so it, so the angle showing you going this way isn't isn't as good. So I'm gonna show you the scenic drive on the way out. Uh, it's very beautiful either way you go. Before you enter the park, there's one uh, viewpoint that is open to the public. You don't have to to pay to go in, and uh, so we'll go there first. And then we'll go in the park, and then we'll go see the rest of Bryce Canyon. So now that we're in Bryce Canyon, there's about a, a dozen or so main places to uh, stop and see some scenic views. So some of them require a little bit of a hike, some of them don't. Finding a parking spot reminds me of going to college when you're waiting for people to leave class and you're stalking them. This is where we exit what's called the Bryce Amphitheater. So you see all those very similar type places, uh, spectacular views. And uh, so that's kind of like the first half of Bryce Canyon. And, and now we head down to the southern half. This main road is about 18 miles long and you take it and you'll dart off one way or the other to these viewpoints. Sometimes it's a mile or two drive, sometimes it's less. Um, but that, it's an 18 mile road, kind of down, and then when you get done, you turn around and you come back.
he tells me I'm a down. So remember, we're going to show you the scenic drive. I'm going to show you on the way out uh, what we would have seen on the way into Bryce Canyon. As we enter Zion, it's uh, a lot different than Bryce. Um, <clears throat> it starts with a spectacular drive into the park. So you you know it's it's a I don't know ten or fifteen mile drive, and it's as spectacular as it could be. Once you get to the kind of the middle of the park, I guess you would call it, um, there's the only way to go through the rest of the park is by uh, hopping on the shuttles. And they have so, I guess it got so packed here 
about 20 years ago, they decided to start having shuttles as the only way to go through the rest of the park. So we'll hop on the shuttles. I'm just gonna ride the shuttle out to the end and, um, and then get out a little bit, walk around and then ride it back. And that's how you can see both Bryce Canyon and Zion National Park in one day. Maybe you only have one day and you want to see a little bit of both of them. You can definitely do it. Two spectacular national parks within an hour, hour and a half of each other. So highly recommended. Definitely need to come back here again someday and spend some more time.